play none of my friends um, nobody all right so so everyone that I know now is just from uh, four years ago uh, so it takes a lot of effort um, there's no encouragement from anybody the closest comment I got from a family member was isn't that a job we outsource to India no. I don't know if you've heard it before <laughs> Um, I go no, and uh, I quite enjoy doing it. I mean, what's wrong with outsourcing it to India? But anyway, uh, so second job. Um, so I say, okay, job at consultancy is really good because you get a bunch of projects, a variety of, of different things. You get to see kind of how non-tech people can't come and in interface with you, which is uh, atrocious just because they don't know, they don't understand the tech, right? So forgivable, but still atrocious. Um, <laughs> And, and five projects later, uh, I said that, you know, uh, I think I, think I kind of got how this was going and I'm ready for my next experience. Uh, so I said, hey, I, I came into this as a business person, so let's see how a startup works. So my next step was into a startup. And again, it was fairly easy uh, argument to say that uh, that's where I came from. Here's what I want to learn and here's where I want to deliver value next. So a startup was my next pit stop. Um, that was a really short pit stop. Because uh, anyone that works in startups, like startups, uh, say let 10 people ish or less, high stress, right? And if you don't click with the team, like really, really high stress. Uh, so I was out pretty quickly. Um, and I said, okay, so, so what other experience might be valuable to me? And how do I get there? Uh, so the experience I decided was valuable to me was probably a bigger company. So I made a and then at the startup, what we found was a lot of things hacked together. Because for, for agencies, even if you are trying to deliver good code, people have a budget of time and money, so they don't allow for very much else. They're like, what is this testing thing you're doing? Like, don't do it. So I thought that kind of the practices and kind of the company management side of things were, was really valuable for me. And so I said, that, okay, for a bigger company, how do I get notice because I still want to I still prefer the route of talking to somebody there first and finding out kind of what the environment what the culture is like there because like um like you said you really want to try and stay there right you don't want to just up and jump um you want to absorb as much as you can you want to make changes you want to like at least not at least not for a lot of the bigger companies so uh the way I kind of got noticed was I decided at that point in time to take part in hackathons because that's where a lot of big companies would go. They would send representatives. They want you to use their APIs. And, and so I thought that was a really good way to get noticed. Um, I won't cover so much, so much on what I did in the hackathons, but if you're doing a project for blind people, do it blindfolded. I assure you that gets you points, right? Um, so that was, um, that was how I, I got into Skyscanner, where I currently work. And at Skyscanner, I think that um, it's been a really enjoyable experience. And you can see that based on asking kind of a few questions, like how long have people been there? Right. Uh, what is the culture like when somebody leaves? Uh, and just are people generally happy? Because honestly, I think you get to a point where um, I think salary matters slightly less than your sanity and a lot less than your sanity after you have enough to eat and like pay for your, your expenses, right? You, you just want to be able to go home and like go for a run without going, oh my God, my application is going to crash again and again and again. And I'm going to get called. Like, like I, I think you definitely want to value that a lot more um, um, as, as time passes. Uh, the thing I, I think I would like to cover uh, for, this, for this group of people is where next? Where next, right? You might start out as a, as a programmer and then you go, well, some people want to be a tech lead. Uh, well, tech leads have very varying roles depending on where you are. In some places, this is a person that just writes code and just happens to have the most years of experience. In other places, this person writes no code um, and tells people what to do. Um, yeah, and in other places, this person is an architect. So it's just... It, it's kind of a title that, that may not mean very much. And people who work in startups know that titles may not mean very much at all because you might be doing one job here and one job there tomorrow. Uh, things I've explored are um, more to do with 
where my long-term goals are. So my long-term goals still lie in having my own company. So what's missing from me having my own company? I don't know how to hire software engineers. So that's something that I'm putting my time into, into doing. Um, that's the main thing. So that's the thing that I put focus into as guided by um, my mentor who, who has been thoroughly helpful to me. Uh, so I, I guess maybe I just wrap it up by saying like, like remember where you started and, and try your best really to enjoy what you do because it's, it's, it's kind of a waste of time otherwise. Um, and you learn a lot more by, by enjoying it. Anyone have questions for Sherwin? No? Well, with that, um, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Sherwin. All right. Uh